making her way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, Magical. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the ring in one-on-one -on -one action, Michael. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Yeah, and judging from the vibe here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold-out crowd came to see. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you could show. She goes for the cover. Early kick out. Referee right on top of the action. Nice kick out there. Beautiful technique. Did you see that? Three. Nailed it. Four. Oh, what a kick! Five. Buster. Six. Six. Oh, close to getting a count out here. Nah, this is just some strategic gamesmanship. Bringing it back into the ring. She's starting to feel it. This is not how she drew this one up. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly Ouch. what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Guys, we've come a long way since the first ever WWE pay-per-view, which was actually the Wrestling Classic in November of 1985. I know a lot of people usually point to WrestleMania 1 as the first WWE pay-per-view, but that was actually broadcast over closed-circuit TV, not pay-per-view. Going all the way up. Look out! Byron digging into his encyclopedic mind earlier to pull out that amazing fact with the first WWE pay-per-view. As he said, it was the wrestling classic and it featured a 16-man tournament, which was ultimately won by the Junkyard Dog. I'll give credit where credit's due. That's some impressive knowledge dropping by Saxton right there, especially considering he was like four years old when the classic was held. Here we are, guys, more than three decades after the WWE helped revolutionize pay-per-view television, and we're still going strong. 
Only now, unlike back, the cover. Digging deep for a kick out. Too yeah. soon. What a drop kick right to the back. I'd have to agree with you, Michael. The best place to watch pay-per-views is on the WWE Network, which, as you know, also features thousands of hours of programming, including one of my personal favorites, Legends House. Hey, you know what? They should do a reality show with us. That would be great. Sitting next to you each week is more than enough, Saxton. There's not enough money on the planet Earth to get me to live in a house with you. Forget it. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. Not yet. Too early. We're looking at complete oh. domination here. Let's call it like it is, guys. It doesn't get much bigger than this. A featured match on a major WWE pay-per-view. This is huge for these superstars. Should be getting coached up right now. Ring rattling! No trouble kicking out of that one. She's still in this one. She is on fire! Corey noted earlier just how she's harsh impact. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Moonsault. Here's her chance. She's able to get out of the way there. Ooh, what impact. She's beginning to take some heat here. Momentum clearly not a belly to belly suplex. She's got a chance to win it here. Putting it all on the line. This is it. Look at this. Harsh impact. Victory is on the horizon. Will she win it here? The pinfall and the victory. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. Highlight for one superstar, low light for another. That's a woman on a mission. Look at her go. And here's how she finished this thing. Here is your winner, Magical. Going to add that match to the highlight reel. I got a feeling we're going to be talking about her for a long time to come. Thank you again for joining us tonight as we come to you live from historic Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the home of WWE Hall of Famer Bruno Sammartino.